All right guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Well, today I bought another, another project car, only this one's quite interesting. It's this 2009 Land Rover Defender 110 pickup. I've never had one before. Just driving it does make me feel a little bit like Granny Clampett. As you all know, I love the Defender. I know I shouldn't because they're absolutely terrible. I mean, really, seriously awful. I struggle to explain just how awful they are to drive because most adjectives just don't do it any justice. They are terrible. It's noisy, it rattles and shakes and crashes around. There's hardly any soundproofing. Inside everything's very heavy, stiff, difficult to operate or placed in entirely the wrong place. And yet, I still like them. I just think they're so characterful. It's like being sat on a very bumpy flight between Mark Labette from The Chase and Gemma Collins, only with even less elbow room and slightly more turbulence. This is later than the TD5 Defender 90 I filmed with last year. This one used a 2.4 litre engine, which is slightly more refined and quiet. I said slightly more refined and quiet than the TD5. Driving one is a bit like being strapped to a wild, maniacal horse. You think you're in control, but really you've got no idea what's going on. It just goes its own way. The driver doesn't really have much say in what's going on. You're driving along, minding your own business, and you think, I'll just go over there. But the car won't let you. The car won't allow it. Sometimes you think, right, I think I want first gear now. But the car's thinking, not so fast. Here's second. See what you can do with that. Believe it or not, I'm going in a straight line now. Completely straight. I just can't quite believe that this car left the production line in 2009. It's hilarious, it really is. I've just put the indicator on and look how much play there is in the indicator. It's really laughable. The quality is atrocious. And yet every time I drive one, I thoroughly enjoy it. There are no driver aids, you really have to work them. Anyway, I bought this Defender as a project, like I said. So, in fact, let me pull over and I'll show you around it. Because I could do with your advice. I've got some ideas of my own, but I could do with a second opinion. Oh no, cobbled road, you ready? Before I show you around today's car, I just want to say a big thank you to today's video sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Pouch. Now, please don't skip this bit because I guarantee it will save you some money. If you've never heard of Pouch, click the link below in the description and check them out for yourself. Pouch is a free desktop browser extension which automatically applies the best discount codes when you're shopping online, which automatically saves you money when you're at the till. It's recently saved me a whole load of money when I've been buying car parts from eurocarparts.com. It's totally free. Let me just repeat that. F-R-E-E. -E. Totally free, so it won't cost you a penny but it should save you lots of pounds. You've got nothing to lose and it's very easy to use. So I type in my vehicle reg, select the part that I want to buy, proceed to the checkout, and there you go. It's found a discount code and applied a healthy discount without me doing anything. There you go, I got 40% off my order. What's good about Pouch is that it works with over 3,000 UK websites, which is more than any other similar company. It's also very easy to download. You simply download the extension and then pin it to your browser and that's it. Every single time you're shopping online, it'll be quietly working away in the background, trying to save you money. It really is a very good service. And like I say, totally free. So check out the link below in the description, click it, and then find out for yourself. Anyway, back to the video. So it is, well, it's your typical old farmer's truck, this. It's a bit rough around the edges, but I'm hoping to transform it. It's a very basic model, this, as most of them were. So it's even got things like windy manual windows. Now, Land Rover very cleverly placed the, the window winders just out of arm's reach which means you can't, you can't wind the window down while you're moving along. There are lots of other ergonomic disasters in this, which I'll get to later. So let's have a look around. They're worth a fortune, these old defenders anyway, so the only way I can really get some profit out of it is to try and improve the way it looks. So I'm thinking of tastefully pimping it up a little bit. They're quite easy to do. It's a good colour to begin with, so it's the perfect blank canvas. For starters, I'm going to get the roof painted because for some reason, I don't know who thought that was a good idea, but it's white and it looks terrible. So I'm going to get that done either gloss black or grey to match the car. Then I'm going to replace the front grille with a later style one, probably in black as well, and I'll put the, the Land Rover badge in black on the bonnet. Then I can buy clear indicator lenses, that's quite a straightforward job. 
The next thing then is the wheels. Now, I'd like to put some newer style sawtooth wheels on it, again in gloss black, or maybe some old style boost wheels from like an old TD5. Either way, gloss black against the gray would look really good. Then I'd like to paint these wheel arches, again, either black or gray to match the car, because right now this horrible plastic look just doesn't look very good. I mean, the bodywork is quite tidy, really, for one of these. A few dents and marks in it, but nothing really, nothing terrible. So onto the back of the truck. If this were just a, an ordinary pickup truck, like a, like a Hilux or a L200 or something, I'd order a, a black plastic load liner. But I'd be very surprised if they make one for a Land Rover Defender. So what I'm thinking of doing is taking it to a joiner and have it boarded out in like a, a teak style deck. I've seen that one of those Defender fan pages that I follow on Instagram and it looks really good. So I might do that. Mechanically, I think I'll take it for a full service and get the underside cleaned up and wax oiled just to prevent it rotting away. And that should be about it. The interior needs some TLC as well. You can see it's all, it's all worn. I mean, to be fair, they weren't much better than this when they were new, but everything's a little bit dog-eared and frayed. Luckily on Defenders, everything's quite easy to do. So it needs a new steering wheel because that one's all worn. All this trim needs to be put back properly. I might look for a cubby box in the center, so there's a, a center armrest, center console, and, and some cup holders. And the rest just wants tidying up. I'm not sure whether to replace the seats for something a little bit more tasteful. And I might play around with the soundproofing just to try and, you know, well, basically hear myself think when I drive it. I want a new stereo because the volume knob's fallen off. Can't have that. So I think that's about it. So thanks once again for watching. Make sure you follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I'll leave the link below. If you've got any comments or questions, let me know and I'll do my best to get back to you. Make sure you check out the link for Pouch below. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Cheers, guys.